In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the option one. It looks kind of a puzzle design. So when I click, it will show me the option two, the option three, option four, and then the option five. And then in the middle, you can add the title. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to view tab, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow just click it here shape outline make it no outline then go to align center align middle then hold the control shift key together and drag this one so it enlarge exactly from the center and how much size you need depending on that one you can keep it and then release the control shift key okay so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this then the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into five equal parts all right for that let me just go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a small rectangle okay something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill and i'm going to fill this with some different color as i mentioned that we have to uh, split this into five equal parts but i don't know exactly from where to cut okay for that I'm going to choose one more object from the insert shapes from the stars and banners. I'm going to choose the star five points. Just drag the star by holding the shift key. You can see here and you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside and make sure to align center, align middle. So this is my reference point. So this is where I'm going to cut it. Okay, so let me just give some different color so that you can understand maybe outline color you can see here red color so this is my just as a guidance guidelines or uh, guiding lines for this okay so i'm just going to put it something like this here exactly and make sure that the line should always be bigger than the oval shape okay then hold the not the whole sorry just press ctrl d to duplicate the line press ctrl d to duplicate this one and then you can just rotate it by using the alt and the right arrow key you can see here and then put it exactly again here maybe one more time we need to rotate and i'm going to put it like this again if it is not fitting you can just use this one this arrow and place it okay again press ctrl d again alt and the right arrow key you can see here i can just use this one and i'm going to place it here all right press ctrl d again I just rotate it and i'm going to keep it here all right you can see here it's a time consuming job but once it's done it looks very good all right then the last one you can see here i'm just going to place it here all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the one which is our star i don't need this one just select and delete it now hold the shift key first 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 of all select this oval shape okay hold the shift key select this rectangle this one this one this and this then go to the shape format merge shape and just click on the fragment all right so it looks something like this now i'm going to select the inner part and i'm deleting this one okay you can just with the help of mouse click you can just select and delete you can see here i'm just selecting this selection and delete here also here as well as here so you can see here i've got equal sizes five different objects here okay now let's time it's time to change the color of each so any color of your choice you can just give so i'm just going to give some different color combination as well as i'm going to give more light colors all right so once this is done i'm going to add one more 
oval shape in the center but before that one i would like to give one more shape which looks a kind of a puzzle shapes okay so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape like this let me just zoom in all right then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw a small trapezoid here all right then right mouse click edit point and just drag this one you can see here just drag select this one i can see the small square just pull it inside here also pull it inside all right i'm going to make it somewhat up select both the shapes shape outline make it no outline and merge shape and make it as a union so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to bring this here again alt and the right arrow key make sure that this should touch this one okay all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and this one merge shapes and union bring to front so you can see here i end up getting a shape which looks something like this so similar thing i'm going to do for the rest also here so press ctrl d alt and the right arrow key just rotate this one and put it here press ctrl d once again alt and the right arrow key rotate you can see here again press ctrl d alt and the right arrow key you need to just rotate it put it in the right position okay and press ctrl d alt and the right arrow key all right so you can see here i'm just going to do that one and again if you want to cut this section also you need to bring this one more time here okay so let me just show you one more time here so this one is for cutting so you can see here i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this so now i'm going to select this hold the shift key merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this for this all right now select this one and this one and again i'm telling you to just duplicate this one and put it exactly on the top so it everywhere it should be two two shapes should be there okay overlapping each other press ctrl d okay and here also why am i doing that one i will just tell you in a while okay so now select this one you can see here this shape select this one and hold the shift key and select this go to the shape format merge shape subtract so you can see here one place it is cutting and one place it is adding so similarly i'm going to do for the rest of this one so this one is already cut you can see here now i'll add this one merge shapes union then select this one and this one merge shape first subtract then this and this it will be union again this and this will be cut or subtract so this one and this one again union union and a subtract okay from here subtract okay and then this one and this one will be union so you can see here we have got the shape something like this you can see all right all right so once this is done i'm going to insert one oval shape in the center again align center align middle hold the control shift key and in increase the size maybe this size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just give any color maybe light gray color i'm giving and then i'm going to attach this one for each of the shape here okay alt and then i'm going to put it like this ctrl d move it here for this option you can see here ctrl d again move this down ctrl d if difficulty in seeing you can just give some different color as well 
all right you can see here something like this press ctrl d and put it here so now i'm going to select the oval shape which is a gray color hold the shift key select this 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 one and this one merge shape make it union so i end up getting shape which looks something like this all right then i'm going to insert one more oval shape in the center a little bit bigger again align center align middle and i'm going to fill this with white shape outline make it no outline sorry shape fill make it white and shape outline no outline all right now for this i'm going to give outline as white and you can increase the width also for that right mouse click go to the format shape and you can just go down and width you can increase the width you can see here and for this also you can give the white outline and again if you want you can just increase the size so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this now for this particular shape i don't need this one i can simply delete this all right so once this is done the next thing is to add some icons and then the last part would be adding the text and the animation so go to the insert click on the icons i'm going to add some relevant icons all right but in this case i'm just going to select some random icons but when you are designing make sure that you add all the relevant icons all right so some random icons i'm just choosing and click insert move this aside make the height and width as 0.7 and the graphic fill i'm going to fill this with white and then i'm just going to put one by one the icons here you can see all right and then go to the insert text box you can add the title here make sure it is aligned center you can make it bold increase the size and put it in the center all right then go to the insert text box so here it will be option one make this as bold any font color of your choice you can choose go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one this is very large text i'm going to just cut this select the font size maybe 12 and put it exactly beneath the option one all right and press ctrl d so this is my option two this is my option three you can see here we don't have space we need to adjust this so then duplicate this is for option four and this is for option five so option three i'm just going to put this one and text i will bring it here all right so that it will be visible it will not cut while doing the presentation so this is my option two this is my option three option four and option five all right so you can see here we have done the text and all those things so now it's time to just group this one i'm going to select these these you can see here this these three things and press ctrl g to group it now i'm going to group this one as well as this one press ctrl g this and this something happened it's not able to yeah this and this press ctrl g yeah and then this all right it's grouped and this also i'm going to group it the text select and press ctrl g to group it all right or you can just select right mouse click group and group okay that way also you can do it so once this is done go to the animations enable the animation pane so for this one i'm going to add the animation which is wipe wipe effect it should come from left all right and for this animation i'm going to use stretch click ok and this should happen after previous okay so if i play it comes something like this now i'm going to use the animation painter select this uh, object where we have just do the uh, did the animation click on the animation painter 
and click on the second option to do to copy the same animations okay and this one effect it should come from top then i'm going to copy the animation for the text so i'm just going to copy the animations and we just need to change the the effect options okay so here also now i'm going to click this one this is should be from bottom and then copy this then comes the last one and i'm just going to copy this so once this is done for this add animation more entrance effects basic zoom click ok it should be from out and this should happen after previous so let me just play now so this is the first option the second option the third option fourth option fifth and then comes in the center the title all right